Hey everyone. Uh, today I come up with another interesting topic. Terraform Snowflake setup. Yeah, you know, many people will ask why I should I, you know, do the all the resource setup in Terraform in Snowflake. Um, as Snowflake has a beautiful user interface where we can, you know, provide all the resources uh, in the user interface itself. But sometimes we may need to, you know, uh, grant the users on bulk or sometimes we have to use the uh, option to um, see a like kind of terminal so I believe this setup would really help us uh, in terms of granting the resource and set up things like warehouse or users creation everything so I I wrote this article today and I provided a more details uh, you know uh, at a high level how we can uh, set up things um, with a with a terraform it's it's a it's a basic uh, setup things so I'm gonna explain um, step by step and the, you know um, to, to we're gonna execute we're gonna create a new resource um, probably can take a, a new warehouse creation and a new user creation how we can play around with that so for uh, uh, this is my user account um, in snowflake so right now if you see I don't have any uh, I have only two warehouse so I'm going to create a new warehouse from terraform and then probably later we can also um, we can see how we can create a users also from terraform so take this article as a reference and um, what are the prerequisites required we have to make sure we have a uh, terraform installation in your system or wherever you are trying to execute you should make sure you have the terraform in place and um, i'm using a vs code um, so um, so if you have terraform installation in machine yes you are we are good to go on it so first thing is um, provider so provider is something uh, terraform provides various flavors like you know you can connect with the google gcp aws snowflake or all pretty much all um, uh, popular providers available in the market so we have to provide the user password account and role I, I given everything as a variable because I kept all my username and password everything on variable tf so it will read from there and then from main file um, I just this is the default syntax so we have to make sure we have to uh, import this in your main.tf file so this this will you know tell terraform okay this is more into snowflake provider uh, this is you know this is this is key point which version also and this is where the resource will uh, place so we are giving we are going to create a snowflake varos from terraform so this is resource snowflake varos is the keyword and then demo is a name which i'm uh, kept for a uh, resource name and the demo varos is the is the varos name which we are going to see in a user interface in a sh shortly and varos size I, I i want to just go with the uh, x small for now and uh, we can we can play around with all the documentation you can add more properties whatever you want but i just want to stick with a with a few properties for now so let's execute this um, so terraform in it and terraform apply so this will make sure this will prompt the value so you have to provide yes so it's created so let's take a look uh, whether it's created here or not cool so we created um, the barrels uh, later point if you want to destroy this you just need to you know update terraform destroy Um, this will prompt value again yes refresh this will go away 
and we also will see the users creation so I created a, a separate folder for that here um, I created the new user a test user um, test password test user login so let me go to that folder terraform in it over there terraform apply let's see yes refresh yes test user um you know um we can we can double check uh that one what is the user test user this is the one right test user and what's the password we created this is a test password and if i log in uh, test user right yeah, test user and also oh, i test user login uh, that is my you know login name and test password is my password cool so it's created so let's destroy it right so so that i don't want anyone to you know use my account Terraform destroy is that the prompt value again i guess yes and then if you go here refresh it's gone so yeah this is pretty cool on it thank you